What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So as we all know, uh, Jalen Rose was fired recently, um, along with twenty other uh, eight longtime ESPN personalities, and um, it came as a shock to some. As a matter of fact, I think Jalen Rose was fired. A moment, momentarily before he was supposed to appear on uh, some ESPN morning show last week. But anyway, I wonder if Jalen Rose, part of it at least, I wonder if he was fired because of the fact that he would make statements like this, uh, like this statement that he made back just this past May where on his Twitter he spoke about how there's only been three players that he has observed in his career that he thought were the best on both ends of the floor at all times and those were Akeem Olajuwon Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant on his Twitter go back to May 18th he says, Akeem Olajuwon, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant are the only players I've ever been on the court with that I felt like were the best players on both ends at all times. And um, I could clearly see how La ESPN would not like or approve of that type of mindset. You know what I mean? While I do believe that the main reason for a lot of these firings are because of the fact that a lot of these people have been long-time ESPN employees who will demand bigger contracts because of their tenure and seniority, and they'd rather just hire some young people who are younger on-air talent who are less distinguishable and won't command big contracts, and um, also because of the fact that they're not names, will be more inclined to just say as I do. Um, but... As we see with Paul Pierce and some other personalities, those who don't exactly fall in line with the legenda tend to get axed. You know what I mean? Unlike a Malika Andrews who is totally in the bag when it comes to uh, clutch sports. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. 